Hey people, how is it going? Today I'm making a fast tutorial on how to clone yourself in Photoshop. Uh, it's a pretty fast way to I do it. Doesn't take that much time, but the requirements that you have to have the camera in the same exact angle. You can't move the angle, or it would look really bad. Look, it will look photoshopped. It is photoshopped, but we don't want it to notice. Be noticed. <laughs> So you need two pictures, same angle. I mean, there's no much difference, uh, but the light. But I'm gonna fix that. Okay. And I recently posted this picture on my Facebook account, like me, like, with some friends, <laughs> like with my friends, and uh, have about more like these. Uh, how do you do that? I clone myself, not really. Photoshop, ah, with lots of friends commented, and yeah, okay, so, go ahead and quit that, and, um, I'm gonna go ahead up a photo booth, and we're gonna run, um, Adobe Photoshop here, CS5, you can go get it, um, I don't have a, how to get it free, but I have the trial version for 30 days, pretty good deal, yeah, You got it here. I think you gotta do grab the pictures or whatever your camera connected and for my photo dragon uh application manager. Gonna go ahead and quit force quit because it's not responding. Okay, so I got twenty seven days left and I'm gonna go, go ahead and drag them or for my photo if you have a camera, drag them to Photoshop. Okay. If they are and drag the one so we have one with two tabs okay so like discussing something it's pretty dark my room has it's pretty dark so but I usually oh crap I'm gonna go back button there uh, okay I want to use polygonal lasso tool because it's pretty dark you can differ much from the magnetic so what I do is usually drag it out Put it in front and like cut the parts. Um, as you can see, this is the difference between the light. There's not much light here and here. So what I usually do, I'm gonna cut the part. I wanna make it look. I cut it and make it look and cut that part so it would look. Take out the brightness. If you commit a mistake in this, everything you, you can do. Just press the delete button. Get the delete key. There you go. Then you click on this one, this, this little tool, and drag it into this picture. We're able to delete this one now. Um, I'm gonna drag it in place. It looks not that much photoshopped. Okay. So there it goes. The picture is actually like this. Make sure that it's not cut. It. If it goes and you can't put it in place, what I usually do. You can see a little difference, right? Where you usually use drag the eraser tool here and make a pointer that's like kind of flashy, or I don't know how to describe it. And a size that it won't interrupt and make delete the differences. Usually, when it's like a lot of light, leaves a line. It helps it. So you can go ahead and hold the button. I'm gonna delete it. And if you want to, that's it. See, I got a clone. That's how you do it. Uh, it's pretty fast, good, fun. Uh, I already have like five. So, yeah, thank you for watching.